What is up guys, James here. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download apps using a PowerShell command. So to begin, we're going to create a new file. We'll give it the name download app.ps1. So inside the file, you're going to type start hyphen bits transfer quotation marks and inside the quotation marks you're going to insert the URL for the application you want to download so if we head over to Microsoft Edge for our case we'll download notepad plus plus we'll go to the download section we'll download the happy users edition scroll down you'll see the download button right click it you'll see copy link so click on that go back to your file paste the link and space hyphen destination specify where you want to save this file so in our case it will be C drive uh, users park J put it in the download section right and we'll give it the name notepad plus plus by James dot exe there we go and we click save go into our terminal we'll run PowerShell give me a second sorry about that there we go press enter it's going to now download the application if we now head over to the downloads folder we can see Notepad++ by James. We can also download Google Chrome by doing the same thing. So to save time, I actually created tiny URLs for Google Chrome, Notepad++, and Firefox. So if we want to download Google Chrome, we'll copy this link, replace it here, and this one we'll call it Chrome by James. Save that. Run it in our terminal. Go back to our downloads folder and we can see Chrome by James. So if we click on this, we can install Notepad++. We can also install Google Chrome as, as well. There it is. So I hope you guys found this useful. Another use case of this, for example, let's say you have a virtual machine that does not have Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge installed. And let's say Internet Explorer is not working, then you'll have to use the PowerShell IDE to execute this command to download Google Chrome and other applications that you might need. So let's say, let's use Firefox for our last example. And here we'll call it Firefox. We're going to copy this command. Copy, go into our PowerShell IDE, paste it, right? And if we go back to our downloads folder, we can see Firefox by James. So now you can see why this can be very useful for setting up VMs and other, I guess, use cases. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to help you. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.